And welcome back to The Correspondence on Voice of America. I'm Ilar Sega in Washington. Well, we continue our program on the attacks in Paris by talking about what the militants are trying to accomplish, their beliefs, what it means for other societies and other cultures. And to help us with that, we are honored to welcome back an old friend to VOA's The Correspondence, our former religion reporter, Jerome Sokolovsky, who these days has a new job as editor-in-chief of the Religion News Service right here in Washington. Welcome back, Jerome, and congratulations on the new gig. Thank you, Mill. It's good to be here. I wish the, the reason were less grim than, than it is. Yeah, no, and, and so do I, because I, I know when you left, we lost a, a huge resource uh, when it comes to these kinds of, uh, of issues. But I guess, first of all, I, I want you to give us uh, some sense of understanding on, on what really motivates ISIS. Uh, what is it, what is the driving force behind a group like Islamic State? Well, they, uh, a, a lot of experts agree that they are motivated by what we call an apocalyptic belief. In other words, they, they're think, they think the end of the world is coming. Now, the end of the world means, to apocalyptic believers, doesn't mean, you know, the earth blows up. It means there's a kind of change, a dramatic change. That's so they believe happen. we're in the end times already. They believe in the, that we're in the end times, um, and that's partly why they're, uh, they're, what, what they are saying is so appealing. It's, it's very seductive to young people, especially young Muslims around the, around the world who feel they have no future in their countries, whose prospects are, are limited, to be part of this grand narrative right. where they're going to be remembered almost as, as a scriptural figure for for what they do. So, Jerome, in the Islamic version uh, of that apocalyptic state, uh, what happens? I mean, how does the world turn out? Well, it turns out uh, that the world is reformed. There is, uh, Islam is, uh, brings peace and, do and it dominates uh, the earth, really. Yeah. But Go how ahead. different really is that from the Christian version where, where the Christians say Jesus is going to come back to wipe out all of the evil forces and reign for a millennium? Okay, I mean, you're, you're, it's a good question because Christianity, Judaism, Islam all have kind of messianic or, or these millenarian uh, beliefs in the end times. Some, there are some secular beliefs too that are often cited as having apocalyptic beliefs, like the Nazis had it or even, the, even Stalin and communists. They really wanted to dramatically change the world and were willing to kill lots of people uh, to especially do it. Especially non-believers, obviously. Es especially non-believers, people who, who get in their way. Sometimes if people agree not to get in their way, um, that's okay. But. Uh, yeah, go ahead. But as a bit of uh, as a scholar and sort of a historian on, on these kinds of matters, is there no middle ground between all of these other religions and Islam? I mean, they essentially have similar prophecies, different outcomes, right. but similar prophecies. Correct? So, so, so there are slight differences, or maybe more than slight differences, in the way the d different religions see the, the end times. And there are differences within very stark differences within Islam about how the end times come about. I spoke to one Islamic scholar who said, you know, uh, that Muhammad prophesied difficult times, catastrophes before the end times or as part of the end times so that we avoid the end times, not so that we, we bring it on. I mean, all, all religions or most major religions have these ideas. I think the more important difference for an ap apocalyptic believer is how urgent they feel yes. the end times are. One is how urgent the other is what is their role? What is uh, the human's role? Because many people have apocalyptic beliefs, but feel it's that God will bring that on. They're, they're you know, Messianic Jews. They're, they're many, many Christian apocalyptic believers who think that the end is near, but aren't going to do anything to bring it on. I guess and, is, and Muslims too. But here we have a group that wants to bring it on. They want to bring it on. I guess what rankles many Christians is that, uh, the, that the, their, for them, uh, you know, the, the end justifies the means and they will use whatever means are necessary, including beheading, including burning reporters in, in steel cages. I mean, this is actually what we find so appalling, really, about that particular religious belief. Right. I mean, it's hard, but we have to put our heads in, in the eye of, in the mind of these believers. To them, the world is corrupt and sinful beyond salvation. So they're willing to do anything 
to do to bring about this change. Jerome, I wish we had an extra hour to discuss some of these things. Very interesting uh, 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 stuff, and I hope we have you back again. Thank you, Jerome, Good and, to be and here, Mel. Religion News Service for allowing you to come here and to the rest of our correspondents for a fascinating discussion. We are out of time, but we will be back again next week for another edition of the correspondents. In the meantime, stay up to date with the latest news from around the world at voanews.com. I'm Milar Sega. Thank you for joining us for now. So long from Washington.